Welcome to this instructional video for the Dave Smith Instruments Pro 2 Editor from Sound Tower. Before we can use any of the editor functions, we have to confirm that the Pro 2 Editor is communicating with the computer. So let's fire up the Pro 2 app. Here we can see that it's offline. There are two ways to connect the Pro 2, through a USB cable directly to the computer or through standard MIDI cables through a third-party MIDI interface. Let's look at the USB connection first. Before we can begin, however, we must confirm that the Pro 2 is set up correctly to send and receive information from the editor. On the Pro 2, push the global button. The OLED screen will change to this display. The first parameter we need to confirm is MIDI channel. For now, let's use channel 1. Confirm that the Pro 2 is on channel 1, and then check the MIDI page on the editor to set MIDI channel 1 as well. Next, scroll down to MIDI parameter send. You can select OFF, CC, or NRPN. CC stands for Continuous Controller, and NRPN stands for Non-Registered Parameter Number. We need to select NRPN. This, along with the MIDI parameter receive set to NRPN, allows the editor to control all the parameters of the Pro 2. It also assures that any changes that we make to the controls on the front panel of the Pro 2 will be reflected in the editor window. We'll need to confirm that once we get the other settings set up on the Pro 2. So as mentioned, set the MIDI parameter receive to NRPN as well. Confirm that the MIDI control enable is set to on. Next, set MIDI SysX to on. SysX is short for system exclusive. This allows additional data to be exchanged between the Pro 2 and the editor. Set MIDI SysX cable to USB. Set MIDI out select to USB. We also need to make sure that the pot mode is set to jump. Okay, let's go back to the editor and click on MIDI. Then MIDI setup. And your screen may appear somewhat different depending on if you're on a Mac or a PC and what your exact MIDI setup is in your studio. Here we see the Pro 2 appearing as an available connection. First, let's confirm that the global MIDI channel is set to channel 1. If we click on the Pro 2 on the in-port side and Pro 2 on the out-port side, we see that the Pro 2 is now online. Once the Pro 2 is showing online, we can exit this window. To confirm the connection, we can adjust parameters on the Pro 2, and they will be reflected on the editor. And we can adjust a parameter on the editor, and it will be received by the Pro 2. If the Pro 2 is part of a larger MIDI setup, and we are connected through an interface with standard MIDI connections, the setup will be just slightly different. First, we must again make a few changes on the Pro 2. Click Global. Confirm that MIDI control enable is set to on. Next, set MIDI SysX to on. Next, set MIDI SysX cable to MIDI. And set MIDI out select to MIDI. And again, back to the editor. Click MIDI. Click MIDI setup. To keep it simple for the demo, I have the Pro 2 connected through an old two port MIDI man interface. The Pro 2 is connected through the A, In, and Out ports. If I select those two ports in this window, the Pro 2 will once again come back online and everything is ready for editing. Again, to confirm this connection, we can adjust some parameters on the Pro 2 and they will be reflected on the editor. And we can adjust a parameter on the editor and it will be received by the Pro 2. Through the balance of the Pro 2 tutorial videos, we'll be using the USB connection. So now you're ready to use the Sound Tower Pro 2 Editor. Please take some time to watch the rest of the series of Pro 2 Editor tutorial videos from Sound Tower.